Hey guys, I'm doing the pantry budget challenge. It is $10 for the full week, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for one person to eat. Um, you do get a few pantry gimmies that people have. Um, everybody collectively decided that these are things that most people have in their pantry. Uh, so let's go shopping and see what we can get for $10. So what I picked up from the store was a box of linguine, a pound of black beans, pound of chickpeas, a uh, dozen eggs, a jar of honey roasted peanut butter. I'm hoping that'll add a little extra flavor. I've got a loaf of bread, uh, peas and carrots from the frozen veggie section, bananas, and then the onions. I couldn't find an onion anywhere, so I did have onions at home that I used, but I did count the cost in a bag of rice. And it all came out to 10.01, which I think was pretty dang good. Hey guys, we are back. We got our items. We're getting ready to do this challenge. I uh, just want to run you through quick what my plan was for this and why I picked certain items. Um, a lot of these challenges will go based on your caloric needs, which is great. But I'd like to base this on hunger needs so that I'm not hungry all day. So everybody's needs are different and you do what's best for you. This is what I thought that I could do and... We're going to get rolling with this. Um, the only other thing is I want to point out whatever I have left at the end of this week, I'm going to carry over into the next week because that's what you would do if you were shopping like this on the regular and that's what builds a pantry, I guess. So, all right, let's get going. So this is what I have for starting in the pantry for this challenge. So this is kind of the gimmies that people have. Um, salt, pepper, some sort of fat, you can do butter or oil, it doesn't matter. And then um, I've got packets of soy sauce that I found and then I grabbed this. Um, it's sriracha, you don't need to have it, but if you want it, it does enhance the recipe that I'm using it for. Um, if you don't like spicy, it doesn't matter, whatever, but um, that's what we're starting with as far as things that are already in the pantry. So for days one through three for breakfast, I'm doing an egg sandwich. I'm just using two eggs, a little bit of butter, and two pieces of bread. Um, you know, you just make your eggs how you want them. You're welcome to use the salt and pepper if you want. Um, you know, scramble them however. But I didn't put milk in them. I don't usually, but if I'm trying to stretch it, sometimes I do. But we don't have milk for this challenge. So just the two eggs, the bread, and then a little bit of butter. And that's days one through three for breakfast. Days one through three for lunch is a peanut butter sandwich and a banana. I thought this was um, a nice, filling, enjoyable lunch that I didn't mind having for three days. The rice said there were 10 servings. I figured out what I needed for the entire challenge and made it all right away so that I wasn't wasting time cooking it every day. So I took out three servings that I would need for the fried rice that I'm gonna make and uh, use that. So I just chopped up some onions, um, throwing peas and carrots, and then a little bit of whatever your fat is, mix it up and cook them. Um, as far as the peas and carrots, there were four servings in there, and I just went ahead and used them all, but there's only gonna be three servings of fried rice. So that gives it a little more bulk. And then there's the eggs in there for protein. Two eggs was more than enough for the three servings. And then when you throw the rice in there, this was actually pretty filling. Um, and I was quite surprised because I usually don't go for fried rice, but I liked this. So I think I'll be making this again. So I also want to point out how nice it was to have the rice done ahead of time. And then I could just chuck it in there. Um, I think the ease of making these meals really plays into this too, because none of us have like spare time to throw around. So it's always good to have things be more convenient if you can. This is breakfast days four through seven. I'm doing French toast and a banana. So I have three slices of bread, one egg, and one whole banana. Um, it was, again, it was plenty of food to eat. It was quite filling, and it doesn't seem like one egg would cover all that, but it did. Don't they look delicious? I forgot to throw the banana on the plate, so there he is. I was getting ready to cook the chickpeas and the black beans so I could have those ahead of time like I did with the rice. 
and I ran into a little discrepancy with the chickpeas and the black beans. Um, the package says that there's th approximately 13 servings in this one pound bag of chickpeas and there wasn't. And I was really disappointed because it wasn't even like 12 and a half, it was like 10. And I just want to point out that if you grab the bag and you think you're getting 13 servings, you're not. Okay, so, so 11. Like 11. There's probably closer to 10. Yeah. That is not 13. That is not 13. Okay, go ahead and open it. Do no cuts. I'm gonna get scissors so that it opens nicer. Okay, is it still a quarter cup? Yeah. Quarter cup. Is this. Hold on. Wait, wait. Okay. One. How much is this supposed to be? Thirteen. Two. That was Three. a little heaping. I'll make up for it by doing not heaping. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Thirteen my ass. After I got the chickpeas sorted out, um, I'm just cooking them according to the package direction. There's like a way to quick cook them. Um, so you just boil them for two minutes and then you let them soak for, I don't know, it was like a hour and a half or something. And then you have to boil them for another hour and a half. Let's see what the timer says here. You soak them for an hour and then you boil them for an hour and a half to two hours. But it's all on the bag, you can look at that. But that's what I was doing there. And then I let the black beans soak overnight and made those the next day because it was getting pretty late. So for days four through seven, I did rice, chickpeas, and black beans. And I just added a little bit of salt and a little bit of butter and I thought it was quite good and it was very filling um, so there's good protein in the chickpeas too so that was pretty good this is dinner days four through seven um, I'm starting with the linguine there are eight servings in that package I decided just to make all eight and use that up this is the recipe for the peanut butter sauce um, I only have 10 tablespoons of peanut butter left. No, I have 10 servings. Hold on a minute. Maybe I'm wrong. I gotta stop this. Okay, I should have 10 servings of peanut butter left, and I'll need 12 tablespoons to do the four days worth of sauce. So I'll actually have extra peanut butter. I gotta mark that down. Um, water, everybody has. Soy sauce and sriracha. Um, I guess if you have it, use it. If you don't, you don't have to. Soy sauce is just salty. I don't know, maybe extra salt in there. Or packets is what I used for the fried rice for the soy sauce, so I think I'll see if I have packets again. If you have it in the cabinet, go ahead and use it. If you don't, then don't. It's still gonna be peanut butter sauce either way. It's still gonna taste good. Here I'm making the peanut butter sauce. Um, I was hoping I could make it for two days so that the next day I wouldn't have to make another batch, which I did do, but it didn't reheat very well. So I would suggest if you're making this, just make the sauce day by day. It really wasn't hard. 
Um, as far as the soy sauce goes, you know, you can find that in restaurants. They're usually sitting out or you can just ask and sometimes they'll let you have them. Um, once in a while you find them at a gas station and that's really cool. Um, it's not detrimental to the recipe. The same with the sriracha. I went into an Asian restaurant and just asked if they mind if I take a little cup and they didn't care. So um, I had also found some hot sauce at a gas station and I don't think the flavor was too different with it. Um, but here's what I was making. It was days four through seven. I did peanut butter noodles with chickpeas and I really loved this. I thought this was so good. I did do a double serving of noodles and man, that was a lot of food. Like I had a hard time finishing it, but I did cause it was delicious. This is my bucket. I'm going to carry this over into the next week. So I have three servings of rice three servings of chickpeas and six servings of black beans. So that will be probably a couple lunches for the next time I do this. And then we can start to build a pantry and get some things situated. But I'm gonna set this on my shelf and not use it for anything else and make sure that it only gets used in the pantry challenge so that we can um, keep track of what's left and how much we're building. Yeah, carry it over. Good words, all right. There we go. Hey, thanks everybody for hanging out with me. This was um, an interesting video to make and an interesting challenge to do. Um, I think it's cool to kind of think of new ways to use the food creatively so that you're not just eating the same thing over and over again, but still be mindful of what you're buying and saving the money and making sure that you can cover your needs during the week. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Go ahead and um, hit that thumbs up if you liked this video and you want to see more. And if you could subscribe, that really would help me out. And hopefully we can do more of these in the future. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you next Friday with a new video. Bye.